in Cologne, Germany. We are at the IDS now. As you can already see, people are rushing to get in to get to know about the new technologies of dental industry. Is if you're not here in Cologne, stay tuned. If you are, you are always welcome to come. Show starts at nine. We are happy to see you. Stay tuned. And welcome back from the IDS here in Cologne, Germany. Right now I'm at Bicon and right next to me is the vice president of this company. So why don't you introduce yourself? Okay. My name is BJ Morgan and I'm a vice president here at Bicon and we're based in Boston in the United States. And we're here in Cologne, Germany at the IDS show and this is our 10th show in Cologne. It's your 10th yeah. show already. So would you like to show me around a little bit? Sure, I'd be happy. Thank Bicon you. offers a, a range of products for dentists and laboratories, but the two main products in our product line are Trinia, which is a fiber reinforced resin. It's a CAD CAM material that you are able to produce substructures. So anywhere metal is used by the dental laboratory, you could be replaced with Trinia. It, it, it's a lightweight solution that eliminates metal from uh, many of the prosthetic devices that laboratories are building. And the other product line is our implant product line. And what distinguishes Bicon from many other implants is the size of it. It is a short implant and it can offer patients many uh, opportunities to get implants where they couldn't otherwise have received it without going through bone grafting procedures and sinus lift techniques. And Bicon, also is different from other implant systems in that it only has two parts. Most other implant systems use screws to connect the various components together, but Bicon is simply two parts. You have your implant and your abutment, and it connects by friction, by a simple tap on the head of the abutment. And once it is engaged, it does not rotate, it does not come out, and you just fabricate a crown on top of the abutment and the, the crown is simply cemented, or it can have an integrated abutment crown which doesn't use any cement. And uh, Bicon offers a full range of the surgical instruments to place the Bicon implant, and it contains all the necessary components to, to place the Bicon and even to restore it, because there aren't many instruments necessary to actually restore a Bicon implant. proud of compared to other products in your line or is there any achievements you've made so far? Yeah. So we have, Bicon has been around for 35 years and the greatest I think achievement is that the product has not changed in those 35 years. It's been offering the same product line without change whereas many other systems on the market have gone through many iterations and varieties of their implants and Bicon got it right in 1985. So, and you, you, since you don't change your product, isn't it um, helpful to change it sometimes? Why, why are you not changing it? Because it works, and it has been working for those 35 years, and there's been some enhancements, but the overall product line hasn't changed in, in 35 years, because in 1985, when the inventor invented it, it, was, it worked. Thank you, VJ Morgan, okay. for having me. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit more about your company? Sure. Bicon started in 1994. It's a family business that my father and my brother and I started, and we purchased a product line from Stryker Instruments. And my father was a dentist, and he had been using this product that he liked it so much. He approached the Stryker, and one thing led to another. We eventually purchased this product line, and at that time, it was only being sold in two countries, in the United States and Italy. And since that time, we've grown it to over 75 countries around the world. So you're saying that your family founded this company? Yes, we. Uh, my dad, as I mentioned, was, he had used this product and he felt that more people should know about the product and he felt that the company that had been marketing it was not marketing in a way that could benefit patients all around the world. And he made that phone call and here we are today. Uh, so what are the strong points about your company? So why did your company grow so big? 
A lot of it was luck, but a lot of hard work too. Uh, we met some wonderful people all around the world that had a common goal of helping patients, and we feel that the Bicon implant is a product that really can help many patients because they don't have to go through many surgical procedures. You can just have an implant and within three to four months you can have a tooth in most situations. And it is unlike other systems where you have to go through some extensive procedures such as bone grafting and sinus lifts in order to get an implant. Since our implant is only five millimeters short, we're able to help out many more patients. So what makes your product to such a special product in comprehension to other products? Yeah, it, it is the short implant. Bicon has five millimeter short implants and a testament to our uh, success is that there's a lot of other companies now around the world that are promoting short implants while we feel they don't have the exact design that would make their short implants work, it has become a hot topic in the industry over the last five or ten years since we've been actively promoting it. So you just talked about the last years, but do you have a vision for the come upcoming years, for the next five or ten years? Oh, sure. The, the key is getting young dentists to appreciate our product and we believe there's the, you know, lots of opportunity for growth, not only for our company, but the industry as a whole, the dental implant market is, you know, probably hasn't even been tapped. We feel that there's a big potential. Are there any goals you achieved already when you start from the point you started the company till now? I guess when we started, we didn't have a, a true vision of where we would be 25 years later, but you know, here we are today, and um, as I mentioned, it is quite a bit of luck. It's meeting the right people and uh, being in the right situations, and you know, here we are at our 10th IDS show after 20 years, and it's... Um, is it your first IDS show? Our first one was in 1999 and uh, we had a tiny little booth and now we have uh, 150 square meters here now and we're... Yeah, that's uh, uh, something you yeah, can it's, a, it's an accomplishment that we're yeah. very proud of. Yeah, I am. And it's really a nice stand here. Yeah. And um, how is it to be this professional manager? Isn't, has it a lot of pressure or um, are you still trying to achieve more? Of course, you know, we want to continue to grow and even here at the show we're starting relationships in some you know, smaller countries around the world where we haven't had a presence, and, uh, but we're just proud, of, we are proud of what we've done and accomplished. And personally, how is it for you personally? It's a challenge sometimes working with your family, but it's, for the most part you can trust and rely on the people uh, more as a family business and there's no pressure for the stock prices and uh, the quarterly goals. We, uh, we look for the long term. Apart from dental industry, are you interested in anything else? Hobbies and yeah, what are you doing in your free time when you're not I'm a father of two young girls, so there's a lot of activities that revolve around my family. And uh, we like to travel and uh, do the normal things that any family would do. Oh, that's really, really nice. Well, there are left, one left question. Do you have anything you would like to tell young professionals out there, young dentists? Obviously, I'm here at Bicon, and we just like to spread the word that, you know, it is dental implants can change people's lives and um, it just if more people receive implants not necessarily by con but in general it is a big service to patients I'm standing here with my father, Dr. Vincent Morgan, and as I had mentioned before, we founded Bicon together back in 1994, and here's Dr. Vincent Morgan. I'm a general dentist and have been since I graduated from Tufts Dental School in 1970. We use this product, the Bicon implant, which was then the Stryker implant, and uh, after two years of using it, Stryker came to us and said, We'd like to sell the implant, and you're a perfect uh, candidate because you know it. And so in 1994, VJ and his brother and I, we started uh, Bicon. And at that time, it was only sold in the United States. Today, it's sold in 90 countries, as you can see. Uh, around us, there looks like the United Nations. So we're very grateful for the good people that have uh, seen the merits of Bicon and we'll be entering the Indian market as our own subsidiary 
uh, actually today, today. Today, we just got approval uh, to enter India. And so as soon as the rainy season stops, we'll be there. And uh, fortunately, we'll be uh, partnering with Shofu, which is a Japanese company that sells uh, materials compatible with ours. So we hope to introduce uh, some innovative ways of um, treating dental edentialism in India.